Hello everybody, in this small video clip, a short video clip, I will be talking about uh, the refetch interval property of the use query hook. The refetch interval property is used for pooling. So pooling is the process of uh, refetching data regularly in a specified interval. So it happens automatically uh, in that regular interval. Now let's see how it, it works actually. Now I have here a fake store and a backup is a mock API. So I will be changing the price here to 38, the price of the keyboard. And you can see when I re update the the price of the keyboard changes automatically. Let me demonstrate again. For the shoes, let me put 80. As you can see, it changes. So now let's see what the code for this one is. Now it is actually a use query hook. So what I'm talking about is this property refetch interval. As you can see here, refetch uh, use query hook uses these two required properties. You must have these things, the function, query function and the query key. So query function will fetch data. So, but after the initial, when you start the application, it will fetch data anyway. And then after that, it will refetch data in every three seconds. That is 3000 milliseconds. So what that means is that uh, use query will fetch data from the uh, back end. It will put into the cache and that uh, cache data becomes stale or old in three seconds. Then again, it will use query hook will fetch the data, but it will, uh, th what happens is the cache data becomes it go to the cache so the cache data become stale again in three seconds so basically it's like uh, the data in the cache become from fresh to stale become in every three seconds in every th three seconds data in the cache become fresh to stale fresh to stale so that's how it works so this is called pooling uh, so fetching data uh, uh, re refetching data in a regular interval. Uh, so one thing to uh, remember with uh, this refetch interval is it will work only when the browser window is active. Right now it will not fetch any data because it's not active. Now how do you see? Let me demonstrate this one. So there's an easy way to demonstrate this one. So I have my store here And this is the back end and front end. Now let me get the dev tools of the my browser. I already got this one. This, this, is, the, this is the dev tools. So I put a console statement here, console log statement, so that you will see the fetch data from the in the dev tools. Now, if let me sh show you the normal case first. So this is the store here and this is my backend. Let me move here. And this is the dev tools. Now if I now this is what happens normally, okay? So if I change the data here, let's say keyboard I put $40 and I, I update it. As you can see, the, it changes the the price here and you can see that in the dev tools and which is normal now let's see i make it inactive this my store by minimizing the window now let me change the let me first clear the what is in the dev tools again so that it's more clear to you now i change the price here let's see it's 50. Now, as you can see here, my front end did not fetch any data, and that's why you cannot see anything in the dev tools. 
so as soon as I active make it active you will see it changes now let me inactive again let me change the price so this is the previous one you we got so I change the price of the shoes to 70 update now you can see no new data is coming so that means the front end doesn't uh, fetch any data but as soon as I make it oh you can see its data is refetched so that's how the uh, refetch interval works um, so it will refetch data automatically in every three seconds in this case if the browser window is active thank you very much i hope you will get the idea of this property thank you